So do you know about the third ear? If there is the idea, the concept, the belief of a third eye, meaning one being able to fully see, then why isn't that someone needs to fully hear, fully listen? As you listen to our conversation, even listen to yourself as you speak, do you fully, completely hear and listen? How does one do that? By listening for the truth of what is being, what is being said. Analyzing it for the truth in the words. The truth of the words. The truth of the meaning of the words. The truth of how the person is using the words. And if they are being used correctly. If a person's actions match up to their words. Whenever by anytime anyone uses a word, what is that? Um, what are the adjectives? What are words like good and better and best and all those things? What are those? What are we looking for? Someone says they're doing the right thing. What does that mean? You know, these words are always thrown out. Words, 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 words. So many. And there's a definition to go along with these words. These words that we create. But the question is there. But. And when I say but. When I say but. I don't like the word but. But. I believe it is necessary to be used justly, if you will, and accurately, if you will, when one speaks the truth. Otherwise, I think there is a lacking in it. You know, it's, it's like the excuse. And what is an excuse, by the way? What is excuse? Usually... You know, when someone speaks of an excuse, it's used in a pejorative sense. You know, it's a bad thing. You know, oh, you're just making an excuse. What does that mean? Ultimately, it will have to mean that some that the person is lying, right? Because if I speak of something, if someone says, well, you did this and that and this and that and that and this. And I say, well, I did it because of this. And they say, oh, we just make an excuse. Well, if I spoke the truth, then is it an excuse? And if it is, then the true nature of the excuse is only in speaking the truth. But if it isn't, if the true nature of an excuse isn't speaking the truth, then the true, true nature of an excuse is thus a lie. Yes? So what is an excuse? You hear that a lot of people giving excuses. I was in the comments, what... what Drove me to this. I had a conversation earlier this evening, speaking to uh, a coach of my son who plays high school basketball. Speaking of my son and whatnot, and as I listened to him speaking, speaking about my son specifically, and speaking about his ideas and concepts about basketball, dealing with, dealing with kids and basketball and things of that nature in his life. Every time he spoke a word, I had to think of the definition of that word and as he used it and applied it I think of well what does that truly mean and is he applying it if he if he says doing the best thing for the players what does that mean giving them skill set a skill set things that they can use beyond basketball to use out 
in their everyday life? Or what does that mean? What are, What is truly the best, once again, those words, the best lesson you can teach anyone? Of course, here specifically in coaching, because I coach also, what is the best thing that can be taught for a person, a child to use for the rest of their life? Excuse me. Is it the, is the effort, determination, those things that go into athletics? Is it effort and determination, willpower, belief, those are things that get you through this world? They do in some aspect, but I want to say, what is the best? And you know what that is. I'm going to say, nothing. a coach's job is to see the truth of what is happening. To know the truth of what is happening and to teach the truth to your players for them to execute it out on the court and then thus to utilize it for the rest of their life outside of basketball. Because truth is that which is going to apply in all aspects of their life. You can say hard work and all that, but the truth is that there are people who have worked hard and become successful. There are people who have worked hard and not been successful. There have been people who hardly work and been successful, and there have been people who hardly work and are successful. So what's the true determining factor? He's in here chewing on my toes. It's just going to be the truth. So that third ear is listening, and in the conversation is, okay, I hear you, but, but... But, but the truth. Did you hear me? 